Cast your minds back, if you will, to pre-internet days. Now, this place, Samut Prakan Crocodile Farm and Zoo, was the biggest crocodile farm in the world and it was a really popular place from its opening its inception in 1950 right through to sort of the early 2000s 2010 people used to come here and see the plethora of crocodiles plus the daily shows which used to be on four five six times a day you know the ones where the guys used to put their heads in the crocodile mouths and torment them a bit and that sort of thing first time I ever came here, I think in 1998, I loved it. I mean, the internet wasn't there. We didn't all know about the cruelty of animals or, or we just ignored it a little bit. I like the kitschness of it and I like the fact there was no health and safety. It just surprised me. Actually, I was a little bit shocked at the end of it. The fact that you could buy crocodile skin wallets and handbags and belts and you could even eat crocodile meat. You could even feed hippos with their mouths gaping, throw food into them and, and take horse rides. And you could, in fact, the, 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 the most fun thing at the time, you could get fishing rods and you could put chicken on the end of the fishing rods and throw them over and feed, feed the crocodiles. Fast forward to about the year 2009, 2010, I brought my son here for the first time. It wasn't amazing. He loved it. I, not so much. I thought, ooh looks like a bit of a hellhole for animals. We then tried one final time, I brought him here again in about, I'm gonna say about 2014, 2013, and it was, it was a harrowing experience. Um, my mum was there as well from the emancipated horse drawn carriage where, I mean, the animals just looked in a shocking state and I had a moment with an orangutan that I'll never ever forget. He just looked at me as if to say, please, just, just take me out of this misery. And I said on that day, I would never come back here. Times change, things move on, places move on. And uh, this, this place is just no longer relevant for most people. It was kept open pretty much, I'd say, from 2015 until this year through Chinese tourists where the values aren't quite the same regarding animals and captive animals and, 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 and they lapped it up. Obviously with the, with the latest pandemic, endemic, it's pretty much put paid to that and there's not been an awful lot of guests coming here for the last two, two and a half years. Last year, some up Prakan Crocodile Farm and Zoo went into administration. There was a court case going on. There was heavy pressure from PETA, WWF and other uh, animal organisations. Now, to this point, it hasn't closed yet, but well, it certainly says it hasn't on the internet, it says it's still open, so we thought we'd come down here and check it out. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys really a place from a bygone era, a place from pre-internet days, before we were all woke, before we all realized what sort of harm that these sort of places were doing to animals. I'm gonna show you this place. Please judge the place for what it is, a place from a bygone era. I also want to see if allegedly the world's largest captive saltwater crocodile is still alive and his name is Yai. Yai translates to big. The other thing I want to look into a little bit or just touch on a little bit, there's, there's been talks of suicides here over the years and I can't think of a, a worse or more grisly way to die. Um, certainly there were uh, suicides reported by the BBC. There was one reported, uh, when was it? Um, by the BBC in about 1993, another one in 2002, but reported that there's been a suicide here every, at least every two or three years. Jumping into a crocodile pit to get ripped apart by crocodiles is probably not the one, is it? Well, folks, today's plan was to come out here with Brian's musings and have a look at the crocodile farm. I wanted to see how bad it was now, and I know that it was supposed to close last year, but everything online said it was still open. This place was open from 1950, so 72 years it lasted. And I, I thought I'd come out here and just show you something from a bygone era. Unfortunately, that bygone era has now gone. So I've driven out all the way out here to Samut Brikan, I picked Brian up and it's closed, so I guess we're going to go to Ancient City. <laughs>